I can't even put it into words that this has been three, four years in the making. Last year, you could tell people were mesmerized by just standing and staring at the tree. Look what's happening in this little town outside of Atlanta, which has a rich music history, but look what's happening now. Every time I came that first year, I cried. I still get goosebumps. Just had such a huge impact without any, I mean, it was all word of mouth. And it shows you that good things spread rapidly. When people ask me how long is it going to take before you get it done, I said, well, the show starts at 6 o'clock on Friday at probably 5.59. When I first heard about the downtown Christmas light, my first thought was, what in the world? As I got to know Brian, I got to see he is willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. No one does shows to the extent I think that we do, in part because we're lucky to have a Grammy Award winning arranger and conductor. Steve's actually going to start the show from a laptop, just pushing a button, uh, and then of course he's got the backing track, and when the conductor goes, boom! This is music that has been produced and arranged and recorded and finished here in Macon, Georgia, that's with what, Macon artists. Yeah, that's what gives it soul. Exactly. Right? The dancing around, I, I, it just made me feel very good to be here. You know, it just made me feel happy, good, <laughs> good about Macon. You could put canned music to the lights and it would be fine. But what would make it, I think, more impactful and have greater meaning to our community, I thought immediately that Macon Pops could provide a musical canvas for the lights and feature local talent. 